Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the room 2. This is the fifth puzzle in the game and we appear in a boat. Uh, I mean... <sighs> I mean what the hell was that? It was like a... a ten okay, we're on, a, we're on a boat surrounded by monsters apparently. I assume we need to apply crank to here and then we're going to spin this round. How could this possibly go horribly wrong? And quickly, you madman. Get out of the water. <laughs> Made it. Uh, okay. That's chapter five done. Good chapter. Even short journeys can cover great distance. And by making it to the other side of the crossing, you are now ready for the final step. May good fortune go with you. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, it's a box. And a decidedly Victorian looking house. It looks like one of those Victorian medieval, uh, medieval medical asylums. I'm, I'm trying to eat a, a bar right now because I'm hungry, and I was like, I need to record something, but I'll do it right now. And I didn't really think about it. Uh, there's a lot of things in this room. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of time just to look at everything. I thought we should be able to pull that, but I don't think we're ready yet. There we go. The bar has been finished. Um. Oh, it's obviously not that box in the middle, so could it be... Any of this stuff. It could be any of it. This, uh... Yeah, it didn't go easy on me on this one, did it? Okay, what's this? Oh, one. Can we open... Can we open oh, wait, there's a book. Book, open book. Open read. Oh, this is one, two, one. <sighs> Let's go, right? Oop, ah... Uh... Oh, it's a screwdriver. The star-shaped indentation is that there, I imagine. We know that screwdrivers are incredibly useful, right? Subject Beta 4. Rattus Rattus. Subject Necrosis significantly halted by pre-mortem application of serum number 5. Temporary muscular reflex restoration witnessed out post mortem electrical stimulation of of range seventy five to eighty five MA. I'm guessing that's with post mortem, not without. <laughs> with post mortem electrical stimulation of a range of seventy five, eighty five mega ohms or something like that. milliamps, milliamps. Yeah, that's milliamps. Okay, so we have a screwdriver. How does that help? I mean, it's on this desk. Well, that looks like a bunch of the lenses that we have in the front of our glass. It's got dials on. Ooh, there we go. Subject Alpha 17, Laprina Aurata. Subject unresponsive to post mortem application of serum number four, comb with electrical stimulation of range 10 to 100 milliamps. Corpus degradation considerable with high amphires. Conclude. Kaleopatra unsuitable for further study. Good God, these old timey words. I've never, never seen these words in my life. 
I have to throw them at me when I'm at least when I'm least ready for them. Is that a it's like a brain? But that also looks like a screw. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Kind of looks like it's containing it, which is a little bit worrying, right? A wooden box. Hmm. I think we need to find out what these symbols are. The only other place that I've seen numbers uh, is on that hutch. But there's no symbols, so that doesn't really help, does it? What's this? Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. One. Nine. Wait, 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 wait. Double S. The one. Have I accidentally looked out on this again? Oh, bloody hell, what was this? Uh, S for the line through it. Seven. And then L upside down T, so that one. Three. Is this stuff? Is it like uh, ferromagnetic stuff? Oh my god, that worked. A battery. What the hell do I need a battery for? Oh man. A Parker Cell Company carbon battery. General purpose. 1.5 volts made in England. Yes. Yes. What the hell do we need a battery for? I mean, that looks like a battery receptacle. Eh? Boop. This? Has anyone seen Sherlock Holmes, as in the American films, uh, Guy Ritchie films? This looks like the machine he was spinning to generate electricity. Punch it! Yeah! I think this is a, a Victorian battery charger. <laughs> okay, so now we have a full battery. So what else had dials on? That's the question. Now, I remember dials on... Let me look at the no, radio cabinet. There wasn't any... What's this? Was there any dials on this? There was a dial on this, but I don't see a place to put a battery. Obvious. That there looks promising, doesn't it? That is a Morse code machine. Like a do 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 do. I mean, it's going to have some other reason. It's, it's, it's a switch, to be honest. Okay, she's fully operational. Oh, it's just a breaker. Huh? Oh. What am I doing? I honestly have no idea. What are we aiming at? Ah, me eyeballs. Is that right? It is. Oh my god. Red laser on the box. Okay. That's opened up a, ref a, a refraction lens? A reflection lens? Star shaped handle. That's for the desk. I think. Right up there, can we move that? I feel like we need to move that for it to work properly. Or this needs to be aimed somewhere else, but maybe we should... Note to self, there's a key on the back of this lock. Oh wait, no there isn't, it's one of those spinny locks. Okay. Uh... That was the desk, was it over here? It wasn't the desk, was it? It was this thing. Cabinet.
There's a switch on the side of that drawer. A drum of images. Experiment number 73. Personal recording sealed. Uh, and a, a letter. Dear Professor D. Montfalcon. Oh, bloody, that's French, isn't it? While I don't doubt your altruistic motives, your sister's condition is not aided by her continued confinement to your estate. I beg of you to see Madame Lucy return to the san sanatorium as early as can be arranged. Yours, Dr. Bennett. I feel like we've seen the name Dr. Bennett a few times now. What does that button on the side do? Wait a goddamn minute. Can I make this go back to being drawer number one? I say this because is there a switch on the side of drawer one that I just wasn't paying attention to? Oh? Ah, yes there is. Quite smart. Bugs! Bloody, bloody bugs. That looks like we can look into the back of that one, but hey. Experiment 5.01, subject EH, upper right appendage severed at glenohumeral joint. Necrosis in subject halted completely via pre-mortem application of serum number 5, followed by post-mortem application of serum 4. Perfect musculature reflex witnessed with electric stimulation at 77 and 3 quarters milliamps, or 3 and 4 milliamps. You'll never guess I wasn't a doctor. Struggling with some of these doctor words. Hmm, okay, so what? That, we've unlocked bugs. I'm not entirely sure how this helps. But I'm sure it does. Hmm. We have. Still have the screwdriver. We still have... This is drums, right? Do you remember the uh, machines in libraries? The electromag? It kind of reminds me of these. This thing. But it hasn't got a battery. A recess with electrical con connections inside. Can I steal the battery from this device? Or do I require another battery? I don't think we can. Annoyingly. Okay, so... I like these bugs. Oh, hang on. A large... handle. The hell is that for? What does it look like? Square peg. How could a square peg be for? Not this machine. This just needs power. Don't know how the hell we get it power. What was that on the side of the... Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't think it's this, because this is just the electrically charged machine. Could it possibly be this table? Or possibly the box? Something needs to go into the table before something happens here. Hmm. Oh. Ah! Oh. I guess it needs to get to the hole, which I thought was to get it out. I'm guessing it goes to here. And then we can lift. Then we can find whatever the hell that is. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's a crystal to refract the light. Okay, got it. Cool. Oh, awesome. That's really cool. 
Uh, now that's beamed a light over here. So where the hell are we sending this? Oh, into the beetle, into the beetle. What's that done? Opened that door. Okay. Another battery. Another battery. And another car down here. That looks important there. You see that where it says jar? I'm guessing it's not, but you never know. Subject L. Cardiac viscous. Necrosis halted indefinitely. Manual operation at 77 and 3 quarter milliamp. Facsimile of life restored only with proximity to raw null. No further avenues. No way back. Here, Lucy. Forgive me. I was too late. L. Subject L is Lucy? Wait, are they? Is this man trying to revive people with the null element? This is taking a very dark turn. Oh, no, it was a beetle. Large rhinoceros beetle. What are you doing outside of the case? I imagine we need to put him in the case. But let's... Should we do the battery first? I imagine the battery is to charge the finder, but... Do that first. I assume we need to charge it. Spin, spin, spin! Wonders of kinetic energy. Oh, we we broke it. Can we just replace the fuse, or do we have a spare fuse? I don't think we do, do we? Definitely broken. Burnt out fuse. I'll discard it. Well, where the hell? Do we get a new fuse from? Maybe that has something to do with the beetle? I'm clutching the straws now. Well, hang on, what's down here? Um, let's go to the beetle. One of these is going to have a rhinoceros beetle on it. That one there. It appears to be there are specimens missing. Okay, well, that doesn't help me at all. So we need to find a fuse. I feel this is going to be one of those ones which holds me up. Uh, can I fuse on your work table? Nope. I was like, why can't we just shut this down? Then I realized, uh, because it's kind of like, you know, powering everything. <laughs> uh, I got a horrible feeling I've stared right at the fuse or something and I just haven't seen it as being a thing. What the hell is this on the floor down here? Am I about to electrocute myself? This feels really bad. Hmm. Gotta be something to do with this 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 cupboard. Cupboard. Don't think we can't open any of these. We can't mess with any of that. Can we like smash these jars? Not that I, not that I think that would help. I mean, what is this? For once, you're day malady elixir elixir. Wait, hang on. This is Laura Brown from oh, hello. Thanks, Alexa. Really had fun there. <sighs> they just love Alexas. They're like the best things ever. They can they kick in halfway through a recording and stuff. It's brilliant. Uh, what, what's that? A piece of a broken plaque. There is no way in hell I know where that goes. Unless it's this. 
I don't think so, no. Where have we seen a plaque? Where have we seen a plaque? I feel it's all here. It's all got to be here. We've looked at everything else. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. That. The thing I looked at earlier, I was like, that looks like a switch. I don't think it is a switch. I think it is actually a plaque. Use. Wow. The fuse looks like it's intact. Sweet, let's go. One of these is really going to screw me over. We've lost the screwdriver as well, which is not great. Uh, I guess we lost the charge. Is the fuse blue? Right now we have we have a battery to put in the view in the viewer machine. I don't know why you call those things. Electrograph or something weird like that. It, Why do I get a horrible feeling? This is going to make me jump. Oh, Christ! VL0? Oh, no, 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 hang on. What would that be related to? That be related to? That's the symbols. That's like the symbols that you put in the decoder thingy, Miss Quig. That's like a... Oh, man, how am I going to draw these? V... The V underneath it, and then two, two O's with a line through. But then where do we need numbers? Oh, hello. A little beetle. He's a little beetle. Let's put the beetle in the display. But wow. You know that we could translate. Let's translate the things first, just in case. At least I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's that one. Six. So that means six. And then that one, I guess? Sixty. What the hell could 60? Let's let's drop the beetle back. Maybe that'll unlock something. Every now and again, things like sequentially puzzles where you do something just you think is insignificant and it ends up breaking everything. In this case, the answer is that is no. The only time we've seen numbers is over here. Maybe, I don't think so. Uh, I am actually at a loss as to where that number can go. Unless it's to unlock a... Oh look, there's the hand. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that before. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Time to look at things with frickin'... Oh, wait, hang on. What? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a... There's a... Arrow. What's the arrow pointing to? Is it look on the bottom of the drawer, maybe? I can't look. look under the drawer? Am I fixating on something that doesn't matter? Does it need to be on two? Have a look.
Arrow is still there. Oh, on, wait, we can look much further down. Ah! Why can, it's weird how we can look down when two's here and not when one's here, but is that the final beetle? No, we need more. Oh, oh my god. A small metal handle. That looks like something that goes onto that uh, decoding device. Mainly because it's red, black and glowing red. That tends to be a good hint. And there is two tracks on this thing. But I don't know. Wait. Mm. Was the double? What was the? Uh, like this? This one. Aha! It was like set them both. Uh, both of the symbols. So the the actual decryption itself didn't matter. I guess and that key is for locks on the table, right? That's the lock where I was like, oh, you can spin it around. Yeah, this. Uh, what's the key look like? Two exits. What? I mean, it doesn't match. Oh wait, no, there's a triangle on top, not the circle. There we go. It's the final beetle! A large stag beetle. Looks like things looks like things slot into here. God knows what. But hopefully when we put something in this center bit here. It'll all make sense. Ah, it's a reflection mirror. With no light going to it. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. We can redirect this one, can't we? From the beetle. To the mirror. Then I guess we reflect it back to the box, maybe? I love the idea of uh, mirrors having aiming lenses on them. I don't know why it makes me smile. Eh? That doesn't seem right. Surely that I just refrain. <laughs> Where did that go? Just out of curiosity, did it just end? No, it just went straight through. <laughs> it was it was a curious guess. I was wanting to see if it was going to make it bounce in a random direction, but it didn't. I think I think we're supposed to aim at the side of the box. That is some form. Of lens that fits over my eyepiece. Okay. There's a letter here. I mean, at some point we're going to have to admit that we have just the craziest eyepiece. Welcome. It seems to be my fate to be forever standing on the shoulders of greater men. Montfalchion's work here makes mine appear that of a child, but he never cracked the final secret to the doors as I have. He carried with him the key all along, and he never realised. The soul is the root of the null. It comes down to a simple trade. Mine for hers, and hers for yours. The heart is the seat of the soul. Travel well, and don't look back. Whatever you see here, don't ever look back. Wait, hang on a minute. Mine for hers, and hers for yours. So... His soul was traded for hers, her soul was traded for mine. Doesn't that seem bad? Holy crap. Oh dear. This guy's gone nuts. Hang on. There's a, there's a thing pointing to the triangle. What's that in relation to? Ah, well that's pointing to that. I think that is in relation to this. Oh, wait, do they have numbers?
We're missing a third piece then, because if that's one of them, I don't know what order we need to put them in. But I'm, I'm going to write it down. It's the triangle within the triangle. It's a really nice symbol. I like that symbol a lot. What's that underneath the orb? I don't think that's anything of any great use. In theory, we could just brute force it, because the next one is I cannot draw that for my life. Uh, did, 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 did. All of them connected with another triangle on top. Wow, that was hard to draw. The big question is... What number goes where? And that's assuming I'm even thinking of this in the right way. They can cross over each other. Unless you have to put more on the same one, which doesn't seem right, no. I did it. I just fiddled around. <laughs> it's a heart. Oh. Oh. Oh Christ. Okay, yeah, I see it. We gotta make... Gotta make that symbol again, but one is red and one is green? What's the symbolism here? Is that not the room from the room one? <laughs> Wait, peg it! Oh man, that was a nice house! Congratulations, you have completed the room too. Where many have faltered, you have succeeded in discovering the many mysteries held within this most unique space. You fled the laboratory and escaped the confounded house where it all began. After much scientific study, I can only conclude that it is an absolute impossibility that the null sample under my custody is the only one in existence. It stands to reason that there must be a great number of somehow coordinated samples which exert some form of control over these curious events. Professor de Montfaucon, 19th of November, 1903. Is that us? <laughs> That'd be a twist, wouldn't it? 
Okay, thank you for playing and purchasing The Room 2. We hope you enjoyed it. I did very much. As a small independent games developer, we truly believe in the power of word of mouth and goodwill from everyone who plays our games. So please let us know what you thought of The Room 2 by recommending it or writing a review on our Steam page. How about I make a YouTube video? Does that count? We sincerely value your support and feedback. And by purchasing and recommending The Room 2, you are helping keep independent game development alive. I approve games. And I do very much. Advise people to play, buy this. I mean, admittedly, most people have already bought it. And if you've watched me do it, I've kind of taken the fun out of it. I will admit, but, you know, there we go. We finished the room two. I do have the room three. So I may continue my escapades. Let me down in the, uh, let me know in the comment below if you want me to do the room three. Probably a strong possibility it's going to happen. But thank you very much to everyone who has made it this far. It means the world to me. And as always. I should say please like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and comments, we greatly appreciate it, and as always, I'll see you next time.